Hello, and thank you for watching this video. I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of pollination products in this video. And by the end of this, you should know if pollination is for you or not. So let's get started. In 2021, IPSA USA BDE subcommittee circulated a survey on data models in building performance simulation. Like every other survey, they had several questions. The two that I'm interested in are the first one, what data models are particularly useful in your workflow? I mean, you guessed it, Excel is the first, but then BIM, GBXML, and IFC are the ones that people think are the most useful. Then there was another question, which data models are particularly difficult to use in your workflows? The ones that were supposed to save us from the problem are the most problematic to use right now, are the most difficult to use. And what's the result? Most energy models are still drawn from scratch by tracing over 2D drawings, even in 2024. And if you're watching this video later, probably still, unless you're using pollination. And that is a waste of time and talent. So there are still four valid cases for drawing models from scratch. The first one, if you only have drawings in 2D, yes, you have to draw from scratch. Then the model is a small still, like you can just do. It doesn't take that much time to, to draw from scratch. And you only have 3D models in SketchUp or Rhino. Uh, you do not have a Revit model or Beam model. OK, that makes sense. You have to draw from scratch. And then sometimes if it is your thing, I don't know why you're watching this video, but it's OK. Uh, yeah, you can draw from scratch any model. But even if it is your thing or any other reasons and you have to draw from scratch, you should consider using Polynesia Rhino plugin. And I'm not the only one who thinks you should. Uh, Polynesia Rhino plugin has unique features that makes it the best uh, tool for generating building performance analysis geometry. So these are the top four that I have uh, that I think makes uh, Rhino plugin the best tool for creating energy models. So the first one is built on top of Rhino's powerful geometry library. That means you can build things like this and as a valid energy model. And there is no other tool in the market that can give you this to be able to build something like um, Sydney Opera House. You have probably seen that one, but you haven't seen this one. You can even build an energy model for a yacht if you need to, again, using Pollination Rhino plugin. The size of the model is also not a problem anymore. It's not only the complexity. So this is the NREL building with all the ones you can see, you can just go around. It's, 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 a, it's a Rhino model, right? You can edit the model. It's just you're working with a standard 3D modeling software for building energy models. That makes a huge difference. The second one is includes, it includes several commands for finding and fixing issues. Um, there is a validation routine uh, that basically not only tells you where what the error is, it shows you where the error is. And I know some other tools have something similar, a limited version of this, but we don't only show you the problem, we also have commands to fix them for you automatically. So this is, a, this is the one for fixing uh, windows, for example, you get all these windows on top of each other, they're you know like triangulated, there's a command PO rebuild doors and windows and done just does it in a single click. We have hundreds of commands like this in included in the Rhino plugin. Third, it includes a reliable interoperability with other building energy modeling tools. And this one is very unique, the way we do it in Pollination. Uh, once you have the Pollination model in Rhino, you have it in all this other software because we export it to all this other software, uh, ISVE, Ida Ice, Open Studio, Energy Plus, Equest, Design Builder, and we are also working, working on Trace. And except for Design Builder that we use GBXML for every other, we use the native file format of that software. And because of that, we can guarantee the quality of the model that goes out. I'll talk about this more at the end of the video, but there are also videos online that you can watch that if your model is valid, it will be translated with no issues. We guarantee that. And then you have this kind of workflows that was not possible before. So you, if you have an open studio model, for example, you can use Pollination Rhino 
to clean it up, validate it, and then export it to eQuest or ISVE. And fourth is that it integrates with Grasshopper, which means that you can access Ladybug tools and other Grasshopper plugins. For Grasshopper, we made it very easy. There is Pollination Grasshopper plugin, so you can import the model or load the model from Rhino with a single component. And then we have several components, including the ones that lets you export the model. So this is a very simple example that if you want, for example, you can have the logic for creating shades inside Grasshopper, build the model in Rhino, bring it with that single component, and then export it. In this case, I'm exporting it to a gem file so you can see how you can quickly load that model in ISVE, and then you can change it. And again, we try to keep it really simple. This logic can be really huge. You can change everything that you can change inside uh, Grasshopper using Ladybug tools. I hope it basically shows the potential here. Then there are other plugins in uh, Grasshopper, like Honeybee PH that's developed by Passive House Tools. And uh, we let you take that model and take it to Passive House. So when you have a pollination model, it comes to Grasshopper, and that means you have access to all these other plugins included in, in, uh, in Grasshopper, including Honeybee PH. You can use all the other plugins that you can, you know, fix your geometry, planarize your geometry, all that are accessible now as soon as you have a pollination Rhino model. Okay, now let's talk Revit. There are three facts about Revit models before I get started that I want to talk about because I know when it comes to Revit, how people feel. And we have fixed hundreds of models at this point. So these are the three facts about Revit models. Revit models are never ready to be exported as energy models. Just get over it. This idea of I get a Revit model from an architect and it's clean and I just single click and everything works, it's just not going to happen. It doesn't mean they're not useful, but it's not going to be ready, ready. Why? Because these Revit models are prepared for a different purpose. Most of the time, for documentation. You're not prepared by an architect as for energy models, right? But both of those are true. At the same time, Revit models, they still have a lot of information that are useful. And that's probably why the last model that you built, that you traced on a PDF, the PDF was generated from a Revit model. That's something that we should just accept. It's not going to change because we don't like it, right? If you accept these three facts, then we have your back. I know why people feel the way they feel because this is what it used to be. Before pollination, you had this model, you put all this time, you export to GBXML, this is how it looks like. It's just after an explosion and a tornado, that's what the building that you get. It doesn't need to be like that, and it's not like that. If you use Pollination Revit plugin without doing any cleanup, this is what you get. You get the closed room geometry, you get the windows that you have in the model, you get the room names, all of that. You get all of that, that's a great starting point, which means after that, you can start cleaning up model, right? And I'm not the only one who thinks like that. And to do that, we have rewritten the whole export uh, utilities and all the workflows. We're not using any built-in Revit GBXML export functionalities. So how does it work? You pick doors and windows. You say these Revit families should be considered doors and windows. You place any missing rooms that have exterior walls, and then you click Create Snapshot, and we get you here. There is a video that you can watch that shows like how I clean up the whole thing in 30 minutes. To get to this point, it takes 10 minutes. You just export all the three floors, place the rooms. Yes, this model is not clean right? There are issues in this model, but the rooms are there, all the names are there, everything that you need to get started are there. Um, as Levent put it, there is no magic here. It just you do some user interaction, it saves you significant amount of time. That's where we want to be. And then once you're there, there are issues like this in the model that translate to the model editor like this. But here's the good news. With model editor, finding and fixing these issues take a few clicks. Let me show you. These are all the commands that we have right now. And I mean, there will be more commands as we work more and people ask for more. But it, for example, takes only a few clicks to find and fix the gaps. This is a video, right? You just click and say, show me anything that is within a centimeter, like all those gaps. It found it for me. Then you want to fix it, double click, uh, alignment line. 
and they fixed it. If you want to see a longer video, just go down and for model editor, there is another video that you can watch for the model editor demonstration. Then there is a single click to remove all the column holes, right? You just have all these holes. You just select and say, remove all the holes that are smaller than uh, 10 square feet here, which is a large number, but anyways, all the columns are fixed, right? And there are similar commands for simplify and repairing windows. We have command for merging rooms, validating model, and most importantly, there is a single click to export a model that you can really use. Unlike other tools that they said, okay, we, this is Revit, we just write our own exporter to our own software, which for us would have been the Pollination Rhino plugin. We decided that we have this clean model, we have this valid model, let's export it to all the uh, popular energy modeling software. So you can export to Equest using IMP, Ida Ice using IDM, IESVE using GEM, Open Studio using OSM, and also IDF for Energy Plus. And finally, Design Builder, we are working with their team to uh, use their new uh, DBS XML file format, but for now it will be GBXML. And we also have Trace that we are working with Trace team to have a modified version of GBXML that you can export this model to Trace. So yeah, you can do all that and we have a pact with you. If you export these files as, as valid files, they will be imported to other tools with no errors. If they don't, you just report it and then fix that bug. If you can't fix it, fix it we will give all your money back, right? This doesn't include GBXML. There is a page uh, that you can go, uh, pollination.solution slash pact. They can see what's our pact. GBXML, we cannot guarantee because it depends how it gets imported on the other end. But all the other file format, we guarantee that the model will be imported with no errors. So what are you waiting for? Start using pollination and enjoy simulation more. Thank you for watching.